We all know how high interest rates and housing prices are right now, and that has many Coloradans considering remodeling instead of moving. But what happens if the contractor you hire to renovate ruins your home? Well, tonight, Denver 7 consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen is digging into one builder facing a growing number of complaints, lawsuits, and horror stories. This house was built in 1951. It's a bungalow. Built on a solid foundation. We lived on this block for 18 years. Kevin and Noel Collins believed this city park home would last their family forever. We raised our kids here since 2005. Until everything they had built on. It's my house. And I ruined it. Was ruined. It sucks. Open exposed wires. On a tour inside. Paint and spackling. A construction zone both bizarre. In order to make it fit, they just cut the bottom off. And dangerous. There were two green live wires stuck into an outlet. That's it. It's a fire hazard. It's a fire trap. Instead of a whole house remodel. Modernization. That's it. This is how Schwab builders left the job when they just left. They just didn't come back. We moved in and they were gone. They never came back. And what we wanted Schwab builders to do was to bump out this wall. Other Schwab customers, such as Henning Klingenberg, didn't even get that far before they saw red flags, including what he describes as inaccurate plans and poor communication. I was just like, you know what? I want out. Yeah, we lost $16,500, but at the end of the day, I believe we dodged a bullet. Denver 7 Investigates obtained eight recent lawsuits against Schwab builders. The plaintiffs all paying Schwab tens of thousands. Already in two cases, Arapahoe County judges ordered Schwab to pay up $146,000 and $218,000 in damages. This is not a typical case. Construction law attorney Jason Krieger says, yes, the lawsuits and the Better Business Bureau's F rating are telling. We did a little social media search. But he and Schwab's former clients say it's the owner's Instagram that tops it off. That he had a lot of fancy cars and um, he was in Cherry Creek, he was in Miami. He's skydiving, he's got exotic cars, Givenchy, Gucci, watches, and it's like he's laughing. They found posts showing a globetrotting luxury lifestyle. But yeah, he wasn't present on job sites and his social media didn't really reflect that he was a contractor as much as he was trying to be like a fashion influencer. There was carbon monoxide. He took the Collins case and an independent engineering firm found Schwab Builders was not licensed, did not obtain building permits, calling the work performed highly deficient, the house unsafe to occupy. Hi, this is Jacqueline. We reached out to Schwab's owner, Sean Schwab, who refused to comment on camera. They so we paid a visit. The sign still there, the office vacant. While Schwab did not respond to specific complaints, he stated on the phone everything was done correctly and that the work was completed to the stages that were paid for. They ruined my home. But the Collins paid Schwab more than a quarter of a million dollars. The city has since red tagged the home, meaning Kevin and Noel can't live here anymore. The home they loved ruined, they say, along with their lives. Raise your family, be a good person. And that's what I've done. For Denver 7 Investigates. And uh, now I'm in limbo. I'm Jacqueline Allen. Wow. And the Collins are planning to file a lawsuit against Schwab. And Denver 7 has also learned that North Glen police are looking into those complaints now. Now, criminal charges, though, they can be tough to get against contractors. Colorado has several laws, though, to protect people in civil court, including the Consumer Protection Act, the Construction Defect Action Reform Act, and the Colorado Construction Trust Fund statute. 